Daniel, I find this very hard to believe. And I'm the fact that, and the you. fact that you're a police officer and you're not putting two and two together. What am I supposed to do? I'm, I'm going to go and accuse him of different stuff? You never accuse your kid brother of being messed up in something? I told him he's an idiot once I found out he's dating a freaking married woman. But and that's it. And he's running for his life after well, her yeah, husband's been gunned down. And you're saying, yeah, it's fine. Stay in my house for four days? I'm not going to say go out and, and wait for somebody to attack you. No, you're going to say, tell me what the hell's going on, and then we're going to the cops. In this video, an interrogation takes place outside a police officer who is suspected of shielding his younger brother, who is a person of interest in a murder case. On July 2nd, 2011, Alexander Kukovic was shot down in front of his home. The 37-year-old was described by a friend as an excited new father and a passionate, fun-loving man who treasured his family and friends. However, Kukovic had a darker side that might have come as a surprise to those who were acquainted with him. Kukovic was actually a well-known cocaine and weapons importer who had been entered into the RCMP Witness Protection Program and had undergone a name change. During the investigation, the police turned their attention to Michael Costa, who was associated with Kukovic and who was also having an affair with Kukovic's ex-wife. Michael's brother, Daniel Costa, was brought in for questioning in regards to his brother's whereabouts and possible involvement in the murder. <sighs> okay, just so you know, everything in this room is audio taped and videotaped, okay? So I'm just going to turn on this. Is, the camera's on. It's already recording. Okay, today's date is the 7th of July, 2011. My name is Alan Cook, Badge 817, the York Regional Police Homicide Unit. Uh, with me is Dan. Daniel. You go by Daniel? Okay, Daniel Costa. The time is 8.30... Sorry, no. 9.30... Yeah, 9.37. PM, we're at 4 District, uh, York Regional Police. Uh, I've already advised you that this is uh, being recorded, audio tape and videotaped. I'm just going to read what we have as a sworn video statement form. Okay, have you ever seen these things? No? Okay. Anytime we interview someone, they get sworn in. Commissioner Revolts comes in, swears in, you swear to tell the truth. Yep. Okay. So basically this is a statement of Daniel Costa. I've already told you you understand that everything in this room is being videotaped. Your reply was yes. Uh, we've introduced ourselves. I've given the date and time. Uh, is there anything I should know in order that to understand your statement? Fall down, bang your head. No, been I'm drinking fine. tonight. No, you're good. We are investigating an allegation of murder. As part of our investigation into the offense, I would like to interview you on tape under oath. It's my obligation to advise you of certain information before we commence this statement. You may be a witness in court concerning these events that you're about to describe in your statement. If at any time you change your statement or claim not to remember these events or the contents of your statement, the, the contents of this video statement you now give will be used in court. Do you understand that? Yes. <coughs> it is a crime in Canada to lie to the police or mislead them in investigation. It's also a crime in Canada to falsely accuse another person of committing a crime. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that if you lie to the police, you could be charged with an offense? Yes. Do you understand that this is your choice whether or not to make a statement? Yes. If any other officer or anyone else has tried to persuade you to provide a statement, I do not want it to influence you in making this decision to make a statement. Do you understand that? Yes. Are you prepared to give a video state, videotaped statement under oath? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go grab the commissioner of oaths. Once that's all over, then we're just going to go wide open and I'll tell you what's going on. Okay? Perfect. Kathy Matthews, I'm a commissioner of votes, and I'm here so that you can swear to the truthfulness of your statement, okay? Mm -hmm. Last name is Costa Daniel? Yes. Okay. Daniel, are you able to swear in the Bible? Is that okay with you? Yep, or would that's you? Fine. Okay, do you mind coming over here? Place Open your hand on there, yeah. I'll just read you the statement and you'll reply to me, okay? Do you, Daniel Costa, Swear or declare that the evidence you shall give 
on this investigation shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes. Thank you. That's good. Thanks. <clears throat> Great, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so you, this is an interview room. You've been in interview rooms before. Doors open, uh, doors locked for privacy. You're free to go at any time. Okay, we just keep it closed so nobody else knows what's going on in this room in the division, right? This yep. is just our homicide investigation. I understand that you're a police officer. I am. Where do you work? Run police, 23 division. How long have you been there? On the road since May of last year. Costa is relaxed as they go through the process of getting ready for questioning. As an officer himself, he knows what to expect. This can make interrogation more difficult for investigators. How are you finding it? Busy. Busy? Very busy. Yeah. No doubt. So you've been in, I guess, what's that, just over a year now? Yeah. Maybe okay. it was a year. So. All right. Um, we're investigating a homicide that happened in Woodbridge on uh, July 2nd, which was last Saturday, around 10.15 p.m. What can you tell me about anything you know about this incident? To be honest, not much. All I know is that my brother was apparently dating his wife. Okay, when you say your brother, who's your brother? Michael. Michael Costa. Michael Costa. Who was he dating? Anita. That's all I know. Her name is Anita. I met her maybe three times. Okay. The first time was first week of May, sometime around that time. Okay. April, May. And that's all I've known. That's all what I've seen on the news. Okay. And well, he's told he's coming to me scared. That's all okay. I know. So when you say Anita is the wife of the guy, person who's deceased. Okay. Do you know who that is? No. Okay. When did you first meet her? The exact date, I'm not sure. I think it was the end of April or first week of May. You my know. wife was in the hospital, that's all I know, and okay. they came to visit. Who came to visit? My brother, my father, and her. Okay. That was the first time I met her. Okay, tell me about another time you met her. We went out for dinner. Who went out for dinner? All of us. We say all of us, who was me, there? Me, my wife, my brother, Anita, and my father. We went for dinner. Okay. Uh, what has your brother told you about Anita? Nothing. It's his girlfriend. Okay. Did you know she was married? No, not until recently. When did you find out she was married? Saturday night. Okay. So tell me what happened Saturday night. I received a call from my brother, Michael, saying he wanted to come over and speak to me. He came over, he started crying, telling me somebody is after him. That's right. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. He said somebody's after him, somebody's after him. He said, watch the news. Somebody got killed. That's Anita's husband. And that's when he told me that he's been dating her and that she was married. Okay. So he to totally threw me off track. I had no idea what the hell he's talking about. And he said, yeah, someone killed him, and I don't know if they're after me. What do I do? And he's crying and totally caught me off guard. I had no idea what to do. So I just I don't know, I gave him some advice to go to the casino. That's where he was going to go anyways. Go to the casino. There's lots of cameras. You'll be safe there. Come to my house in the morning, and then we'll... Try to figure something out. Okay, what time do you leave for, to the casino? To the casino? Uh, I'm not sure. What time do you get to your house? 11.20, 11.30 okay. p.m. Was, was, was he with anybody? He was with a friend. Who's the friend? I don't know his name. Anthony. That's all I know is, is Anthony. Okay. They went to the casino. Next morning, came back. And he didn't even want to leave the house. So I could keep him with me. Okay. What have you talked about? What the hell is going on? He won't tell me what's going on. All he said is that this guy was killed, and they might be after me because I've been dating his wife. I don't know. In the past, I don't know exact date, but in the past, he's had someone attack him once. I don't know what what's it been involved. Like what it was regarding. Mm -hmm. I know there's a report with the yep. police. Yeah, Somebody attacked report. him with a knife or something. I have no idea what the hell's going on. He came to me at that time too. This time, same thing. He's just driving me nuts. I have no idea what's going on. He won't tell me what's going on. All he says is that someone may be after me. 
Well, that begs the question, doesn't that? It does, but he wouldn't answer me. I asked him why would they be after you, and all he says is because I'm dating Anita. And she's married. And where's he staying? Sorry, who? Where, where's he staying? Who? Your brother. Where where's your brother th staying? Right now? Yeah. Well, he was with me. Okay, so how long has he been with you? Since Sunday. Sunday, or you talking after midnight, or? No, after Sunday morning, he came back home. What time did you get back? I'm not sure. I don't know what time. Was it 6 a.m.? Were you eating breakfast? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I can't tell you the time. Well, you got to give me a time what time you got back. <laughs> it would be a guess if I did. What was it, before noon? Before noon. It was definitely before noon. After 6 a.m.? Yeah. 10 to 12 in that time. Between 10 a.m. to 12. Okay, so that narrows down the time for us, right? Costa claims that his brother has not given him very much information other than the fact that he is scared he is being targeted. This could be true or not, depending on several factors, such as the closeness of the relationship between the brothers, or if Michael is afraid of saying something that might implicate himself to a brother who is also a police officer. We, have, it's, we need specific times. I know, but I didn't keep track of it. Okay, so who do you live in your house with? My wife. Anybody else? Dogs. Okay. So your brother comes to you and says, Watch the news. The guy that's been murdered, shot and killed outside his house in Woodbridge. Your brother comes and says, I'm dating that guy's wife, Anita, who you know is Anita. Is that even her name? Uh, her name's Anita, yes. Okay, okay so she comes to your house. He says, people are after me. You're a police officer. You're allowing this guy to come to your house, yet you know nothing about what he's involved in. Yeah, there's a guy lying on the street that's been killed. And you're saying, yeah, come to my house. I got my wife here. It's my brother. Yeah. I'm not going to leave him on the street. But you're going to ask him what the heck happened. Yeah, but he didn't tell me. All he says is, you know, he got, he got killed in front of the house, and that was it. Are you not concerned that maybe that threat's now moved to your place? Yes, I am. That's why I haven't slept in the last two days. So therefore, wouldn't you just nail down on your brother as to what happened? Didn't work. Well, tell me that. Did you try? I did. I asked him. He kept saying, somebody's after me. I don't know why. The only excuse he gave me was that he's dating Anita. And that was it. And that, what am I supposed to say? I had nothing to, nothing to say to him. He wouldn't answer anything I asked. Why would they be after you? I don't know. His car was in the driveway, apparently. So I don't even know if that was for him. He doesn't even know if that was for him. Was it for it's your brother? Mistaken identity. No mistaken identity. No? No. Okay. I tell you, my nerves have been shot the last few days. Who have you spoken to about this? Nobody. Have you spoken to your father? No. Your father has no idea what's going on? Not for me. I don't know if anybody else has talked to him. He's not in town. Okay, today at around uh, two thirty, we were at your uh, brother's place. You saw us there. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell us who you were then? As what? Well, did you recognize who we were? Yeah. Okay. You wouldn't say, "Hey guys, what's up? I'm a copper from Toronto. What's going on? This is my brother." I don't. Know. He introduced me as his brother. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't introduce yourself as a as a fellow officer. I would have, but I didn't. I didn't want to interfere with anything. I knew you guys were there to talk to him because he's dating this girl. So I figured, talk. I don't need to interfere. So what are the chances your brother's going to tell you what's going on? Very slim. Why is that? Because he hasn't in the last four days, three Thursday. So he's going to stay living at your house, no, after, hiding out, after he left, possibly bringing that threat to your place for you and your wife. After he left here, he arrived at my house in a cab, grabbed his bag and left. So I don't even know where he is now. I tried calling him, his phone is off. As with most lies, it is a foolish one. Costa claims not to know where his brother is, but records will show that he used his credit card to buy Michael a plane ticket to Italy. Why do you think he left? I don't know. He's scared, and I'm scared. For him, and I don't know what to do.
I know you can't tell me what's going on, but I have no idea and I need to know something. Well, your brother's having an affair with Anita while she was still married. That's between those that are consenting adults. Her husband was shot and killed outside his house. Why Our concern it? is who's involved. I interviewed your brother earlier today. Mm -hmm. He was not truthful. That's, he, as to what? As to his role in this investigation. Okay not being truthful and he's not when I ask him a question who is that person he would not say who it was what kind of guy is your brother was well, your brother I know what does he do for a living works for some law law office I don't know doing what accident injuries claims just like that. I don't know as far as I didn't really get into it what does he do for money? Does he make good money there? I don't know. He's got a nice car. He does. Nicer than mine. Yeah. So, tell me how he drives around in all these nice cars. I don't know. I know he makes good money. That's all I know. Because he has the Mercedes registered to him. Mm -hmm. And he was letting Anita use it. That's why it's at her house? So if he's letting her use that car, what's he driving? What other cars have you seen him in? Probably my dad's car. Which one's that? BMW. I don't know what model it is or whatever. Black or blue. Okay, what was the Maserati parked in the driveway? I don't know, one of his friends. Okay. Was there anybody else at the house when we got there? There was a friend there. I don't know who he is. First time I met. Okay. Was it Anthony? No. Okay, so it's a different guy. Okay. I just don't understand why you, you wouldn't ask your brother what's going on. I did ask him, but he don't. T he doesn't tell me anything. Are you not concerned? I am. What do you, don't I look concerned? Like I'm. I am honest to God terrified. I don't know what he's doing, where he is, who's after him. Mm -hmm. Like I'm sitting in my spare room looking out the window. Every time I hear a noise, because of him. What does he tell you when he got to your house on Saturday night? Said something happened. Somebody got shot, and I think they're after me now. I tried to ask him who. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I got out of him that Anita was still married, and it was her husband. Now he's scared because he's been dating her, having an affair, whatever it is, and he thinks that they're going to come after him now. Why, why does he think they're going to come after him? I don't know. He said he's a bad guy. Yeah. That's all he would say. He's a major criminal. Okay. Even better. Yeah. Major criminal. But if... He, I, I don't understand his rationale that he's worried that... This guy, Alex, the husband, gets shot and killed. Then why did they come after him? Obviously, they're after Alex. I can't tell you. I don't know. He won't. He didn't tell me any details. Who's he been hanging out with lately? I don't know. I, when did I, I see him uh, once a week, if that. Go swimming at the pool. And shoot the shit for a few minutes and, you know, swim and that was it. I never really, you know, got into deep conversation about what he does. I know he's opening a clinic, and that, that was the last I heard of what he was doing. What did Anita tell you she does? She sure. What kind of conversations you had with Anita? Nothing. The first time, like I said, the first time I met her, we were in the hospital for my yeah. life. Okay. So, you don't have conversation there. No. Dinner? Dinner is a conversation. It is, but we didn't have conversations. She just, I don't know, I figure she's just another girl that he's been going with. He leaves one girl, goes with another one. He's, mm -hmm. you know, he's got a lot of good, good looking girlfriends. I figure it's just another one. 
That was it. We never really spoke. It's a real eventful dinner date. Yeah. Costa is trying to stick to explanations that are plausible. Siblings don't always share everything, and they might have had a relationship that made it best for them if they stuck to unimportant topics. And if Michael dates frequently, Costa may not think it to be worth his time to get to know each girlfriend he interacts with. So what are we gonna do now? I don't know. I don't know where he is. After, like I said, after he left here, he showed up in the cab, grabbed his bag, and he said, I'm sorry, I got you in trouble. He goes, Here's your, give me your card. He said, they're gonna call you. So I was waiting for your call. And, and he left. And that's it. I don't know where the hell he went. Leave messages for him? Do I leave? I tried calling him. No, I didn't leave a message. Okay. Where do you think he's gone? I have no idea. But where's he going to go in the taxi? I don't know. Why do you think he wasn't truthful with uh, us when we were speaking to him? I don't know. I wasn't here. Do you know if he's involved in any illegal activity? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I, I figured you guys were talking to him because he's dating his girlfriend. Hmm? Nothing wrong. There's something wrong with that. No, I, nothing I mean, wrong no, with that. They're adults. I, I, exactly. We so. don't know what was going on behind closed doors between her and her husband. You know, if, they're, if they're split, fine. They may be married, pending divorce. Whatever. Nothing pending now, but uh, nothing pending now. No. Did your brother ever tell you that he knew Alex? No. When he came over to your house, did he say? He said he's a bad guy. That's it. Uh, what is a bad guy? He's a bad guy. You're you a cop. I know. You can only assume. I don't know. I've never even seen. I don't even know what he looks like. I don't know. Could be. Biker, it could be a thing. I don't know. What's a bad guy? Bad guy, can, there's all kinds of shit. That's, everybody's a bad guy. But for him to be scared as he was, I figure it's got to be something bad. So, mm -hmm. And now you're telling me he's a major criminal. So, <laughs> but I, I don't know what to do. Now I'm not worried if somebody's going to come to my house. But they probably won't because they, apparently everybody knows I'm a cop. Mm -hmm. Like you told them today. <laughs> yeah. Where's your brother hang out? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, the only time I see him is when I go to the house. And the last time I saw him, well, other than this week, before that we went swimming last week. Everything was fine. Do you know any of his close friends? All I know is first names. That's it. So what's he been doing since he got back to your house from the casino? Sitting in the, in the house, just sitting around. He's been going to work? No. Has he been making phone calls? Probably. Have you heard of him making phone calls? Probably, I don't know. I haven't watched him 24-7, but he's been in the house. Okay, I'll be right back. I thought someone was calling me to say something. Oh. So he arrives at your house on Sunday. It's now Thursday. You've been working this week? No, I'm on vacation. Okay. Shitty vacation, but I'm on mm -hmm. vacation. So for four days, your brother's been hanging out at your house. This is your brother. Your younger brother. And you haven't questioned as to why he's still there and what's going on? scared that's the only thing he gave me he almost scared I need to stay with you and you're okay. satisfied with that yeah I'm not gonna send him on the street if he's scared someone's after him but you're gonna ask the question yeah but he why, why are you scared it doesn't matter if he doesn't answer you 
I can ask you. Bring ask in, you're bringing this thread into your house with you and your wife. Yeah. Okay, so you've got this major criminal that's not been gunned down. I mean, come on, you're a cop. Guy gets shot outside of his house. It's a hit. And your brother's running scared? You don't put two and two together? I didn't know that this guy's a major criminal. Okay. Even so, some guy gets gunned down and your brother's running from it. You're not putting two and two together. What am I supposed to say? What am what, I supposed to think? What are you going to say? You're going to ask him, what the hell's going on? I did. You're in my home bringing this to my family, putting my life in jeopardy, my wife's life, life in jeopardy. Word on the street is your brother's moving some big stuff around. He's a big man on the street. You don't question your brother he's driving around in a $100,000 car? Detective Cook presses hard about why Costa didn't get answers from his brother, but Costa doesn't budge on his story, and it is at least a plausible situation. You can ask someone all the questions you want, but you can't force them to answer. At the same time, you wouldn't want to toss a relative out on the street if they were afraid. But Michael seems to have a history of shady behavior, and it is natural for the police to wonder how much Costa really knows and is hiding out of familial loyalty. No? How am I supposed to ask him what kind of car he's... I don't know. I don't care about his car. What is his car? My brother gets a new car. I'm going to ask him, where, where, where are you getting all that cash for that kind of car? He's making good money at the thing. That's all I know. I don't know what... Well, you're telling me he's moving big stuff. He's a, he's a big player. Apparently, everything we've been talking to this, oh, it might cost a big player on the street in Woodbridge. You go to the clubs with him? No. He's always at the clubs. Okay. Does he tell you that? Yeah, I know he's downtown. I mean, he's always at the clubs. Okay. And what's he doing? I don't know. I don't ask him everything he does every night. He's your brother. I know. You guys not close? We are, but he doesn't give me every, every detail of his life. You're telling me your brother riding around in a hundred thousand dollar skate, and you don't ask him what's going on. Where are you getting that kind of cash? Business is that good? Apparently. And you just slide by. That's that's fine with me. I don't know how much money he's making now. Like he, all he says is he's making good money doing what he's doing. He he's, making, he's, he's, making enough he he's making enough money to drive around that car. Not only drive around that car, give it to his girlfriend to drive around. So he goes out and gets another high-end car, and he's riding around in that. And you're sitting in the sidelines going, I don't know what he does. Obviously, business is good. I didn't, get, I didn't know he gave her that car. Okay, well, I'm telling you that. Okay, so how would I ask you don't him see, You don't see that? that? You haven't noticed that car hasn't been around for the last couple of weeks? I haven't been there. I've been there once. How do I know if it's in the garage or where it is? Well, what does he usually ride around? You, see, you said you see him once a week. If that. Okay, he said that he, she said that car for weeks. Okay, I didn't know that. Daniel, I find this very hard to believe. And I'm the fact I'm that and the you. fact that you're a police officer and you're not putting two and two together. What am I supposed to do? I'm I'm gonna go and accuse him of different stuff? You never accuse your kid brother of being messed up in something? I told him he's an idiot once I found out he's dating a freaking married woman. But and that's it. And he's running for his life after well, her husband's opposite. been gunned down. And you're saying, yeah, it's fine. Stay in my house for four days? I'm not going to say go out and, and wait for somebody to attack you. No, you're going to say, tell me what the hell's going on, and then we're going to the cops. Yeah, in retrospect, I probably should have done that. So I you're, did ask you're, him, you're, but you're, I didn't you're, you're putting your life, your wife's life, in jeopardy. Your career in jeopardy. But you won't ask the questions of your brother? I asked. He didn't answer. There's only so many times I can ask without him... Getting so pissed off and leaving like he did today. He's gone. He can get pissed off at you for leaving. No, but he's pissed off that he got everything involved. Involved in what? In this. Apparently you don't know anything no, about I this. No, I don't. You're giving me information now that I... What the hell? You know my head is spinning right now? I so got no idea be. what's so going on. So it should on. be. Daniel, you can, you can get up anytime and walk out of this. No, I don't have to I, get up. I'm just telling you, you can get up anytime and walk out of here. I know. Anytime, no problem. But I'd rather sit here and get information because... Get you're information. Giving, you're giving me more information than he has. I'll tell you that right now. I'm being 100% honest with you. You gave me more information than he's giving mm -hmm. me. But you're his brother. Yes. All this has been happening. He's dating the, the, the wife of a guy that gets the gun, gun down in front of this house. And you don't ask the questions. So you're putting yourself in a lot of jeopardy. Yeah, he's your brother. You're telling me I don't know anything about what my brother does. Yeah, you might want to be protecting him. That might be it. But you got to know, he's got he's to be responsible for whatever he's, he's involved in. Okay? 
Don't get yourself dragged down in this. Don't put your career and your wife and your family and everything that's behind you in jeopardy because your brother's made a mistake. If you know something that's going on, Daniel, this is the time to tell us. This doesn't end when you walk out that door. I know it doesn't. So if you know something, this is the time you tell us. Not when we get your brother and find out the truth or we get another person coming in and saying this is what's going on. If you know something, this is the time. This is where you got to tell me what happened, what he's told you. I told, I told you exactly. I can't, I can't believe that you're... I'm sorry, but I don't know how else to tell you. Your brother comes to your house says, yeah, watch the news. Watch the news? Tell me what the fuck's going on. You're running because a guy got killed? And you're saying, that's all right, just sleep on my couch for four days? You're not putting any of this together. No. I asked him, why would they be after you? Because I've been dating her, and he's a bad guy. Okay, so, again, what's that got to do with anything? I don't know. If they're after him, what do they care if you're dating his wife? If they're after him, so what? He's gone now. They're going to come, okay, so let's go after the guys that uh, were dating his wife now. Because there's more than one. Who? I don't even know who got Costa grows more agitated when Cook says that he doesn't believe that Costa has no idea what is going on. It might have been more believable if Costa had said he kicked his brother out because he would not tell him. But Costa probably didn't think that far ahead. So how am I supposed to know who's after who? All I can go on is the little piece of information he gave me. Somebody's after me. Okay, stay with me. And that's it. Stay with me. Somebody's after you. He wouldn't answer any other question. Why would he Last question? time it was a Who guy, was it was a, uh, his, his girlfriend that he was going out with before, it was her ex-boyfriend that came after him. Yeah. Okay. As far as I know, I don't know. Yeah, that's what happened the last time. Okay. So you knew about that. You already told me that he's talked to you about that. Yeah. Okay, so you know about that. Yeah. So yeah, you can maybe deal with that threat. He now comes to you and lays the big one on you. Oh yeah, this guy has now been murdered. And you're saying, yeah, okay, come stay with me. Oh, these guys are after me. You don't ask what guys? Why are they after you? Were you business partners with this guy? Were you in some sort of deals with the guy that got gunned down? You just say, yeah, come sleep on my couch for four days. That's not, it wasn't that easy. That's the story you're going to stick with. No, that's not my story. That's what happened. I asked him, why would they be after you? And all he said is, he's a bad guy. I've been banging his wife. I don't know. And that's all he kept saying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're an idiot. What the hell did you do? I don't know. I made a mistake. I started banging her, and now I'm in shit. And that's it. What am I supposed to say? He wouldn't answer anything else. He's in your house. Yeah. He's in your house. You demand the answers. Or else what? Kick him out? The guy's involved in a homicide, Daniel. I don't know if he's involved. He said it was his girlfriend's husband. How does that make him involved? The guy's dead now. Okay. How do you think that looks? If he's having an affair with the wife and he ends up dead? Not good. You're a cop. What do you think? What am I supposed to say? What do you think? You go to a scene and you say, okay, so this guy's dead and that's the guy that's banging the wife. Hmm. They get in an argument? Okay. But he's telling me somebody's after him. Why would I think? I don't know. I don't know what to think. You're taking an awful big risk, my friend. I'm not taking a risk. I'm telling you. You are taking a huge risk. What risk am I taking? How am I taking a risk? Explain it to me, please. I, mean, I tried to explain it for you. You're just saying, no, that's fine. I just, uh, I allow him to stay in my house. It's been four days and uh, no problem. What risk are you taking? I told you. If, if he's telling you they're after him now, and they come to your house looking for him, and you get in the way, or your wife gets in the way, or says something, or they grab your wife and say, okay, f where's Daniel? Well, we'll just keep you until we find Daniel, or we, until we find Mike. And you're not asking those questions? Oh, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. You tell me now what the hell's going on. I tried. I'm telling you, I tried. There's nothing I can... So good protecting him. I'm not.
protecting him. I'm telling you as it is, as as I know it. If he's involved in this, would you tell me? I would. If I knew, I would. If he says, yeah, I was involved in the, in the murder. He confides in you. He says, you know what? I'm involved in this. You'd tell us. Wouldn't be an easy decision, but probably. But I'd try to convince him to do it. Turn himself in, do whatever. Once he tells you. What's your obligation? To report it. Mm -hmm. So I'm good protecting him. He's got to, he's got to deal with his own issues. If he's made mistakes, he's got to own up to them. If he has information about this homicide, he's got to come forward with it. Anybody who runs after a homicide doesn't cooperate with the police is now gone. We don't know where he is. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? I don't know. Cook strikes at Costa's pride by implying he is a poor cop for not suspecting his brother's involvement. This tactic is especially effective for people with large egos because they cannot stand to look bad, even if it means implicating themselves. I, like, I don't know what, what you want me to say. It doesn't look good. But just because he's running doesn't mean he's been involved. He's scared. As far as I know, he's scared. Well, we when he came out. trembling and yep. crying, telling me somebody may be after me, I'm not going to say, yeah, okay, well, good luck. No. No, I don't expect you to do that. I expect you to get to the bottom of it. So we don't know where he is now. I don't. I tried calling him. I don't know where the hell he is. Why was he in a cab? I don't know. He left here. What's that? He left from here. Oh, you said he got to your house? In a cab. He in left cab. from here in a cab. Yeah. Well, why is he in a cab? Why doesn't he have a set of wheels? I don't know. He left from the house to here, came to my house in a cab. And what do you say? What do you say? He said, I'm sorry, I got everybody involved in this shit. I'm sorry I got you involved. I don't know. Okay, why didn't he phone you and tell you that? I don't know. Did he take anything from your house? He had a bag of clothes. He had a change, I don't know what the hell he Are you understanding the magnitude of this? Yes. This is a homicide. I know. Well, you seem pretty calm about the whole thing. I'm not calm. Believe me, I'm not calm. I, well, I don't I don't know if I do believe you because you're going on about this. Say, well, I asked him and, uh, well, he didn't tell me. I'm thinking you're still, you're protecting him. As his older brother, you're protecting him. I'm not. I, I don't know anything to protect him from. Well, did he come to you and confide in you? That's what I'm, No. that's what I know that he's done. He's gone and he's had, he's got to tell somebody can't keep the weight of this on his shoulders forever. Who's he going to confide in? He's going to confide in his brother. How do you even know he did it? I'm not saying he did it. So why would he have to confide in me if he didn't do it? Or have the weight on his shoulders if he didn't do something? He didn't have the weight on his shoulders if he didn't do something. He wouldn't have run. If he's scared somebody's going to be killing him, yeah, I think I would run too. If someone's going to kill you, who do you go to? Police. Yeah? Or so your family. And I'm both. Yeah. And then he's gone from there. That's even worse. I know. He comes in here and he lies to us. Very few questions I ask in the interview that I don't already know, already, already know the answer to. You want to see someone's reaction. And he lies to us? I don't know what he said. I was in here. You know better than I do. You well, I'm telling you. Talk to him. Yeah, I'm telling you. He's lied to us and now he's gone. Post behavior after a homicide, very important. What does the person do after, after the homicide? What do they do after they're confronted by the police? 
If you have nothing to hide, you're around. You got something to hide, you go to ground, you're gone. If someone's after him, then why wouldn't you come to the police with the information you know? This is what I know. This is what, what happened. This is why they're after me. Nobody's going to have to go after him because he's banging the wife. That doesn't even make sense. They're after Buddy Boy. They got him. They're not going to go, okay, so let's go after everybody that was banging him. They'd probably shake his hand. Way to go. You're screwing the guy's wife behind his back. Yeah, we didn't like him either. But he's telling you, no, they're after me. That leads to believe he's involved in that one eye of the murder. He's involved with the, with Alex. What is it that this guy does, Alex? Can you tell me that? Sure. He's a major gun and drug dealer. And I don't mean just minor kilos. Thousands of kilos. Your brother's driving around in a hundred thousand dollar car. Why isn't he at work today? Why isn't he at work yesterday? Scared to go out. I had to take him to the house to get clothes, a change of clothes. He's been in the same clothes for the last three days, however long it's been. That's why we were at the house today. Or else we wouldn't. So have you left. think that level of fear is because he was banging the guy's wife? I know it's not probably the likely story, but what am I supposed to say to him? He didn't answer my question. He wouldn't tell me. I'm not going to beat it out of him. Costa has to realize on some level that anyone investigating this case would focus on him because of the family connection to his brother. All of his actions come across as someone behaving like a family member rather than a police officer. And he is the most logical person to assume is helping Michael or at least knows where he is. Ever since my mother passed away, that's it. He's shut himself down. He didn't talk to us, he didn't, you know, he's private, that was it. Okay, what am I gonna say to him? So he's banging the wife of a gangster? Apparently. Not apparently. Uh, apparently, that's what I, I hear now. He's already, he was already, well, if you see him with, with her all the time. I didn't see her all the time. I saw you, I met her maybe three times the most. Did she ever stay at your, at your father's house? Maybe. Does he talk about her much? I know, she had a surgery. And she was at the house for a few days. That's all I knew. I saw her one time. That was the third time I saw her. Once at the hospital, once at the dinner, and at the, the house when we went for a swim. And that was it. What are you going to do if he calls you? Find out where the hell he is, if he tells me. What else? I don't know. Come with him here. I'll bring him in. Find out what the heck he's going. What, what's going on? Never mind where he is. Well, maybe he'll talk with all of us here. I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything. I'm telling you. Whatever he told you, he probably told you more than he told me, <laughs> because he doesn't tell me shit. And I'm pissed off at him. He doesn't listen. And all he can say is, "I'm sorry. I got you guys involved." And that's it. And then, I don't, I don't know where to go with it. I don't know what to tell you. Can you tell me anything? I've told you. Can you tell me anything more that I don't know? What do you want to know? I don't know. I don't know anything. What else about this guy? He's a major crime guy. And is, he in, is Michael involved with him? Do you know that? Well, if he's saying they're after him, that tends to me to believe, yeah, he is involved with them. If he's telling you they're after me now. But he wouldn't even say they. He, all he says is people are after Oh, people. Sorry. Yeah. People so. are after me. Why would they be after you just because you're banging this guy's wife? That doesn't even make sense. If they got a beef with this guy, they get rid of this guy. What do they care who's, who's wife's banging? I don't know, but if he's a major guy, I don't know what the hell he's involved in. Drugs and guns, you're saying? So Yeah. So they know. get rid of him because they got a business problem. So they get rid of him. So now we're going to go around and, and, and shoot all the people that uh, she's banging? That doesn't even make sense. No, they're going to go after people that 
either responsible for it, who killed our guy, or they're going to go after people that were involved with them. If he has information about this murder, that's why he's running. One, because either he knows about it, was involved in it, or he's involved with this guy. Because he's banging the wife. Who cares? She's banging other guys. We talked to them. They're not running. Yeah, I was banging her. Yeah, her husband's a fucking big dope dealer. They're not saying, oh, yeah, we're scared. You know, what are we scared for? The guy's dead. He's never going to find out I was banging his wife. His friends aren't going to come after because I was banging his wife. They don't care about that. The guys who were responsible for this aren't going to come after me. They're not worried about anything. Yeah, I was banging her. It's recreational. No big deal. But yeah, your brother says, yeah, I was banging her, so now these people are after me? That doesn't even make sense. What are the chances you're going to be able to get a hold of them? I don't know. I'll keep trying. You think he'll call you back? Probably. You going to convince him to come in? I'll try my best. Explain to him maybe, hey, this isn't looking good? You can guarantee I'll try You're my either best. with this guy, or you knew something about the murder, or you committed, you were involved in the murder. You played a material role, or you just had information this was going to happen. And you know who did it, and now you're scared. If you know who did it, then you say, okay, well, there's a witness. we got to get rid of him. I'm getting rid of it because he's banging the wife. Do you agree with me on that? Yeah. Pretty lame excuse he's giving you. It is. But that's the only excuse he gave me, and okay. that's all I have to go on. Would you take a polygraph, Daniel? Absolutely. Because if you have knowledge of any of this, you have to tell us. I know. People always think they sound innocent when they say they are willing to take a polygraph test. But many people, especially those in law enforcement, believe that they will be able to beat the test with tricks deliberately. Very few can actually do this, but that fact doesn't stop people from trying. Because we find out later that you knew, you know what happens. Absolutely. All right. It's not worth it. I know it's not. That's why I'm here. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. I understand that. You are. He's your brother? You know, maybe this is a stolen car or whatever, a robbery. No. I can understand. But this is a murder. Right? It doesn't get any bigger than this. You know it. Mm -hmm. This is the big one. You're involved in a murder. We're not going to stop until we get all the answers. And the guy that just goes to ground takes off right after we talk to him. It's not looking good for him. And that's what you got to put to him. Talk some sense into him. Or, if he has information about this, he knew it, and they are after him, because he is a witness. That's even more serious. Is there anything that I've asked you that you want to change? No. Is there anything I haven't asked you that you want to tell me? Not that I can think of. Not that you can think of. <laughs> I don't know. Don't jeopardize your, your family and your career over this. I'm, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to give you as much information as I have. You're trying or you want to? I'm giving you as much information as I have, as I know. And I'm trying to piece it together, but... Well, I think you've pieced it together now. Yeah, well, I think I've laid it out quite clearly. Yes, you have, and, it's, uh, and I appreciate it, because this is information I didn't have. And I don't know what to do now. i, I got to look for him. Yeah, look for him. you got to convince him to turn himself in. He has information that he knew this was going to happen. Then come talk to us. If he was involved in it, get a lawyer and then turn yourself in. 
if he was dealing, if he was a business partner of this guy. Right. If he just knew that was going to happen, or someone said, you know what, hey, uh, Mike, we're going to get rid of this guy, and he knew about it, and said, well, I, I didn't think they'd do it, but now they did it. Yeah, now he's running scared. Fine. Come in and talk to us. He was played a material role in this. Right? Material role. Like he set this up, he, he's involved in this, he did something of a material role. Get him a lawyer and then turn himself in. That's all the advice I can give him. Because if he's running scared because they're after him, they're not after him because he's banging the wife. They're after him for those reasons. Either he was involved and those people who his crew are after him because they found out, hey. Mike killed our guy, then we're after Mike. He's got some serious problems. If they're after him because, well, we got rid of Alex because he ripped <coughs> us off and Mike was part of that deal, he's got some serious problems. If he was material in this, he's got serious problems. If he just knew about it, then we can talk. But if he is involved in this, get him a lawyer. And get him to turn himself I need in. to get a hold of him. Yeah, so yeah. That's the first thing you get, you got to find him. Get a hold of him. How long are you off for? Uh, I go back on Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. No, next Friday. Okay. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Let me just go speak to my partner. Cook has tried to warn Costa of all he stands to lose, but Costa has made his choice and is going to follow through. All right, Dan. Hey, when you were in the the car when you saw us when you're in your van or in your truck, who are you calling? Who are you calling on your cell phone? Call them. Saying what? That you are at the door. What'd you say? Police are at the door. It took a long time to come to the door. Uh, I tried calling three times. Okay. Or twice, twice or three times. Now. The house I called. This Alex guy, did your brother at, ever ask you to run him on CPIC? Huh? Have you ever run this Alex guy on CPIC? I, I didn't even know what his name was okay. until he Because if we do an offline search and your badge number Absolutely. comes up or anything at 23 Division comes up, this guy got ran? Absolutely. Because he's not a 23 Division guy? No. Okay. I've never run. Okay. What cell phone do you have for your brother? Uh, 647-272-9861. Do you have any other phones? There's that in the house. The house is 893-2218. Okay. He's not at the house. I don't know. No. I'll, try call, I'll try calling. Have you been to the house? Since this afternoon, no. Okay. Any questions for me? No. None? All righty. Is there anything you, do, you want to change in this uh, statement? No. Is there anything else that I should know to understand your statement fully? No. Okay. I conclude this interview at 10... Costa is given one more chance to come clean after he lies about running one of his brother's friends. But Costa sticks with his story. A foolish choice considering Cook has already told him he rarely asks questions to which he doesn't already know the answer. The day after this interview, Costa changed his story and came clean about the location of his brother. Not only did he admit to lying to investigators, but he also admitted to searching police records without authorization to help his brother. He was charged with perjury and faced a police disciplinary tribunal. On September 16, 2016, Daniel Costa pleaded guilty to one count of deceit and one count of insubordination. He was given one week to resign from the force. Costa successfully appealed this decision and the Ontario Police Commission imposed a penalty of suspension, demotion and deduction of pay. Charges were never brought against Michael Costa, but that doesn't mean he has escaped unscathed. On November 13, 2020, Michael was shot twice in the parking lot outside of a cafe 
and was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. No suspects were found, and Michael was eventually released. On January 19, 2021, Michael and his father, Giovanni Costa, were shot in the older man's home. Giovanni was pronounced dead at the scene, while Michael was taken to the hospital and released. Again, no arrests were made in this case. Clearly, there is more of a connection between Costa and Kukovic, whose death has also remained unsolved. Does Michael know something? Was he directly involved? It appears we may never know. In this case, the only certainty seems to be the fact that Michael Costa will spend whatever is left of his life watching over his shoulder for the next incoming bullet. And that's where we end this video. If you liked today's video, then drop a line. And if you want to support the channel even further, you can check out my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.